to HMS Today. I'm your host, Nate. Hello, Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, James Muzzy. We've got a few more episodes this year, and there's only a couple of slots for a minute with a student. Do you want to be on HMS today? Then send us an email with your best personal story about anything, and maybe you'll be a star. Now, first up today, we have Mrs. Ben Benick with a middle school update. Good morning, HMS, and happy Friday. A quick shout out to the 16 grade 8 students and their teachers, Ms. Noble and Ms. Abate, who participated in Project Bread Walk for Hunger last Sunday. These students walked 20 miles and raised lots of money and probably a few good blisters. Thank you for your efforts. Relay for Life is May 19th. We have over 240 middle school students registered. You can still register, see Mrs. McBride in the main office, if you're interested in participating in this event to raise funds to cure cancer. The Sharon Timlin Memorial 5K Race to Cure ALS is June 17th. You can run, walk, or volunteer. Please check out their website to figure out how you can best participate. Good luck to our Grade 7 Ignite candidates. We have over 140 Grade 7 students who will interview today for this leadership role. Good luck to all of you. And the Grade 7 Courtyard Party is tonight. Hope you Grade 7 students can make it. Thank you to Ms. McDonough for all your hard work, and we'll see you there. Thanks, Mrs. Benvenick. Now we turn our attention to another Hello Hopkinton Middle School advice from high schoolers to us. The uh, high school is very welcoming. Everyone is um, wanting to make friends, and don't be afraid to be yourself. Um, band was really helpful for me because I got to be with people in many different grades and learn from people who were older than me. Take advantage of how many people are in the high school at one time because you can make new friends anywhere. And coming up next we have the triumphant return of Mr. Rockwood in his famous Fun Fact Friday. Hmm, maybe we should call it FFFF. Wait, are we actually calling it that? Good morning and welcome to another Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that you have on average between 100,000 and 150,000 strands of hair on your head. And also that hair is the fastest growing tissue in the human body. As a matter of fact, hair grows faster in warm weather because heat stimulates circulation and growth. Info about everything in your bloodstream can be obtained from one strand of your hair. And it is one of the most commonly used types of forensic evidence. The only thing that can't be identified about you by your hair is your gender. Those are some extremely interesting hair facts. Now, if you have a fact about hair, send it to me at crockwood at hopkinton.k12.ma.us. Make it a wonderful day and enjoy your education. Thanks, Mr. Rockwood. Nice to see you again. Now let's move on to question of the day. Today we're asking, what was your favorite toy growing up? Barbie dolls. My stuffed bear. My favorite toy growing up, well, I would say actually now because fidget spinner. My favorite toy was um, like a polka dot whale. My favorite toy was a stuffed tiger. My corn silk cabbage patch kid. Her name was Thelma Louise. She had purple glasses. A little pink stuffed animal. It was a lamb and I called it Pinky. I like monster trucks. Legos! I loved my BMX bike and I loved my Barbie Dreamhouse. Legos. My favorite toy growing up was always the cardboard box they came in. All the Nerf guns. Oh. A remote control Thomas the Tank Engine toy. Trains! Barbie dolls. G.I. Joe. Excellent. Thanks, everyone. Our last video is a minute with a teacher, Mr. LeBlanc. I teach seventh grade English for the purple team. And the reason that I became a teacher is I started out as a film major. Uh, I thought it would be kind of fun to study film and make film with you know my buddies from uh, high school. I got to college, I enjoyed film, um, but I decided to try out teaching. And I think one of the things that really sold me on it was we had, I think he was a principal in Boston came in and people said, you know, why do you do what you do? And he said, well, I get to have fun with kids every day. And I said, huh, okay, I'll give that a shot. So my favorite part of teaching, believe it or not, is actually 
getting here on Monday morning. Uh, Sunday nights, I'm always like, oh man, I you know got to go to work. But I get here on Monday, and uh, I'm actually pretty, I'm happy. So I, I like Monday mornings, actually. Uh, I've learned a lot from my students. I think I've learned uh, patience. I think I've learned a value for curiosity. Um, and they always make me laugh. So I have many memorable moments from teaching. One of them would have to be, uh, I was walking down the hall on my way out one day, and I saw a former student on a couch being pushed down the hall by another student. It must have been for a drama production or something, but you don't see that every day, is somebody being pushed down the hall of a schoolway uh, reclining on a couch. I like to read. Uh, I play chess. Uh, I like going to the beach and uh, listening to music. If I could add one thing to the school, I think a garden out in the courtyard would be awesome. I hope you haven't seen that one. I don't think we aired it. Well, thank you for taking the time with us, Mr. LeBlanc. And coming up next, the birthday scroll. Happy birthday, everyone. Now it's time for Have You Seen This? I think last week's was a little hard, so sorry about that. Let's try this one. And here's today's image. You have until next Wednesday morning to send us an email and tell us where you think it is for your chance to win a prize. Only a few weeks left to get in on the action, so good luck. That's all for this episode. Check us out online for our videos and email us with your thoughts and suggestions. From everyone here, get out there and study hard.